Martin. Welcome to this video. How are you? I think all the fine. Uh, we already discussed in the lecture number one, uh, which is the part one of the chapter one for the supplementary problem solution of the vector analysis MR Spiegel book. Okay, this is an important book for the in purpose of mathematics as well as for physics. And in point of view, IIT jam is also important. So we decide to solve the supplementary problem in in the uh, in the next videos. And already in lecture number one, covered the supplementary point one point three one to one point one point three one to one point three six. You get the description uh, playlist of the description. You can see the lecture number one. And in the i bottom, in this i bottom, you can see the IIT jam preparation solve of the previous year IIT jam question okay so let's start to today's question the question says that two towns a and b situated directly opposite to each other of a uh, river whose width is eight miles that means if this is a river this is point a and this is point b these are the opposite to each other the width will be eight miles right and the which flow at the speed of four miles per hour the river flow with the speed four mile per hour a man located at a wish to reach town c which is six mile upstream from the same side of b so this is from the this is the c which is the upstream that means the opposite to the stream flow this stream flow towards to that direction so this must be in the opposite to the flow of this direction of the stream the river stream and this distance is six mile right so the man wants to go the c point from the a point the man wants to go from uh, to c point from this a point okay the boat can travel maximum speed the speed of this boat is 10 meter 10 mile per hour and speed of the river is 4 mile per hour okay these are the given so what course must we follow and how long will trip that train so if the wants to follow this path you know it required to go of this boat along that direction okay along that direction the boat must be grow this is the velocity of boat okay so this is the scenario of this question okay so we need to own the this direction and uh, find out the time taken i take this angle is alpha so if this is alpha then if we component this as the vb cos alpha and along this direction this will be vv sin alpha so vv sin alpha is uh, used for the cover of this distance and vv cos alpha minus 4 is used for the 6 mile distance so if we take the time taken to cover up this distance take time is t if time is t in that time this portion vv sin alpha used for this cover up distance 8 miles so we can write out the velocity velocity is vv sin alpha multiplied by time you get the distance which is 8 miles this is equation number one and another portion which used for the shift from the b to c that means it's it uh, the the velocity portion which is vv cos alpha minus 4 this velocity into time used for the shift of 6 mile okay so we get these two equation and uh, if i want to find out the angle alpha uh, no at uh, at first i want to find out the time so from 1 you get sin alpha Mm, vv sin alpha you get vv vv sin alpha into t 
is nothing but 8 oh so this is nothing new in this question uh, in this equation you get vb cos alpha into t minus 40 so this is 6 plus 40 if we square and add these two equations square and add equation 1 and 3 so we get if we uh, square and add 1 and 3 we get uh, vv square is common t square is common we get sin square alpha plus cos square alpha and in the right hand side we get in the right hand side we get 8 square plus 6 plus 40 whole square and this is nothing but 1 and vv vv is the 10th or so 10 square this is 10 square equal to 8 square 64 this is 36 this is uh, 20 48 t plus 16 t square 10 t square 10 square t square 10 square t square there is a 4 division so this will be 25 t square uh, 16 9 um, 12 t 4 t square so this is 21 t square minus 12 t minus 25 equals to 0 so t equals to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 c a by 2 a this will be 1.41 or minus 0 0.84 since time cannot be negative so the time will be 1.41 hour or in hour and second this will be 1 hour 25 minute okay so this is the time to uh, cross over the uh, point a to c so what will be the angle we get the time that's next part i will already get first to find the uh, alpha you can use the equation one from equation one uh, sin alpha is nothing but 8 by vb t so 8 vb is 10 time is 1.41 so alpha is sin inverse this this will be 34 degree 34 minute okay so this is the uh, alpha that means the angle from the bank is needs to of, uh, of start this motion and the time taken to cover up from a to c is 1 hour 25 minute and this is the angle okay next question simplify this vector simplify this portion so this is nothing but 2a vector plus b vector i read this as b plus 3c minus a minus 2b minus this is 4a plus 6b plus 2c so this is 2a b plus 3c minus this is minus 3a uh, plus 4b and plus 2c so this is uh, minus or plus 5a b a minus 4 that is minus 3b c minus 2 that is plus c so this is the simplification of this question okay so same type vector is addition and subtraction here happen in the next question this is 1.39 say a is this a vector is it with uh, small a vector b vector and b vector is this find the uh, x and y such that 2 a 3 a equals to 2 b we put the value 3 a 3 a a means x plus 4 y into a vector small a vector that into x 3x uh, 2x plus y plus 1 into b vector equal to 2b b means y minus 2x plus 2a plus 2x minus 3y minus 1b 
सो दिस इज नथिंग बट थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई ए वेक्टर प्लस थ्री टू एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस वन बी वेक्टर दिस इज टू वाई माइनस टू एक्स प्लस टू ए वेक्टर प्लस टू टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस वन बी वेक्टर सो इफ वी कॉम्पेयर द कोपिस ऑफ ए वेक्टर एंड बी वेक्टर यू गेट थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू टू वाई माइनस टू एक्स प्लस टू सो दिस इज नथिंग बट थ्री एक्स प्लस टूल्व वाई इक्वल टू टू वाई माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस टू सो दिस इज सेवन एक्स प्लस टेन वाई इक्वल टू फोर एंड अनादर कॉपिस ऑफ बी थ्री टू एक्स प्लस वाई टू एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई प्लस वन सो दिस इज सिक्स एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस वन इक्वल टू फोर एक्स माइनस सिक्स वाई प्लस टू सो दिस इज टू एक्स एंड दिस इज माइनस नाइन वाई प्लस नाइन वाई इक्वल टू this is 2 this is minus 1 sorry this is minus 1 so this will be minus 5 if you solve this two equation just multiply and solve you get value of x equals to 2 and value of y equals to minus 1 this is the answer of this question next the base vector a and b and c are given where f equal to this then we might find out the in terms of a1 a2 a3 here the uh, f is given b1 b2 b3 so we need to find out the b in terms of a so here a1 a2 a3 if we write in the matrix form you get this 2 3 minus 1 B one, B two, B three. These three equation written in the matrix form. This is one minus two, two. Then minus two, one minus two. Right. So this is A. This is some matrix M. This is B. So if we write down the M inverse in both sides, so M inverse A equals to M inverse M B. so this is m inverse a equals to ib that is m inverse a equal to b m inverse a equal to b so we need to find out m inverse such that we get the b since m is 2 3 minus 1 1 minus 2 2 minus 2 1 minus 2 so what is the value of adjoint m adjoint m is nothing but for 2 this is minus 2 2 1 minus 2 for 3 written as here uh, 3 1 2 1 2 minus 2 minus 2 for 1 Minus two, minus two, one. For one, this uh, this uh, three minus one, one minus two. For two, this other uh, two minus one, minus two, minus two. For uh, two, this this cancel out two three minus two one. For uh, two, this is three minus one minus two two. For one, this is cancel out two minus one one two. For minus two, two three three one minus two two three one minus two. Okay, and you know this is plus, this is minus, 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 and 
if you calculate this this will be this will be i written here this will be 2 5 4 minus 2 minus 6 minus 5 minus 3 minus 8 minus 7 okay so determinant m minus 1 1 minus 2 2 1 minus 2 and this will be determined is 1 so m inverse it get adjoint m by m determinant m this is nothing but 2 5 4 minus 2 minus 6 minus 5 minus 3 minus 8 minus 7 so b is nothing but m inverse m a okay so b1 b2 b3 is the m inverse m inverse is nothing but 2 5 4 minus 2 minus 6 minus 5 minus 3 minus 8 minus 7 into a1 a2 a3 okay we get b1 b2 b3 such as b1 is 2 a1 plus 5 a2 plus 4 a3 b2 is nothing but minus 2 a1 minus 6 a2 minus 5 a3 b3 is nothing but minus 3 a1 minus 8 a2 minus 7 a3 so you get the b1 b2 b3 so the f which is nothing but 3 b1 minus b2 min plus 2 b3 right b uh, 3 b1 minus 2 b2 plus 2 minus b2 plus 2 b3 so use this b1 b1 is 2 a1 plus 5 a2 plus 4 a3 minus b2 is minus 2 a1 minus 6 a2 minus 5 a3 plus 2 b2 is minus 3 a1 minus 8 a2 minus 7 a3 so use uh, the simplify you get 2 a1 plus 5 a2 plus 3 a3 okay this is the answer of this question next an object uh, p is uh, acted upon by three coplanar forces like in this, in this figure three force are acted what force needed to prevent moving a that's mean to prevent the uh, particle p you need to result and force will be zero so we uh, find out the component of this vector so the component of these two is along that direction this is 200 cos 30 degree and along this 200 cos sorry sin 30 degree and you know 200 uh, along this 200 sin 30 sin 30 degree is half third so 200 into half which is nothing but 100 so this 100 and this 100 will be cancel out this 100 and this 100 will be cancel out here along the positive x direction along this direction what will be the 150 plus 200 cos 30 cos 30 root 3 by 2 this is nothing but 150 plus 100 root 3 so along this direction this will be acted so we need to along the opposite direction you need to apply this 150 plus 100 root 3 pound dal force to prevent the particle so to prevent prevent this particle we need to apply force 150 plus 
हंड्रेड रूप थ्री पांडाल ऑपोजिट टू वन फिफ्टी पांडाल ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट The hundred pounder is hanging over this, and there is a two tension is the determine the value of tension. So you get the T along this component. This will be along this component. The T will be T cos sixty, and for that this is also T cos sixty. So in summation, you can say along the upward this is two T cos sixty degree, and in downward this is hundred pounder. So cos 60 is nothing but half. So 100 half and 2 cancel out. So T is nothing but 100 poundal. So answer of this question T is the 100 poundal is the correct of this question. Uh, thank you. And this is all about me. And this is my contact details for any query regarding physics. You can contact with me with WhatsApp or the Telegram. Okay. Thank you. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe this channel and share this video with your friends who need this type of video. And we will meet in the next portion in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.